Hey Jesse, this is Nate. Um, Coach Ron asked me to record this video for you, kind of do a little website comparison, kind of show you where you're at compared to some of the competition. Um, give you a little advice on where to go and how to get ranked a little bit better online and drive more traffic. I like to talk about content, citations, and backlinks, and we'll get into what all of those are. But um, I always start with content. With Google, content is king. We like to see about 1,500 words on your homepage and then about 500 to 750 words on your back service pages. You know, look at your site. The site looks really good, but there's not a ton of content on here, and it is a single one-page site. So Google's going to, you know, you're going to have more room to put those keywords and things like that in there if we break this up and make, like, a really good homepage and then a separate page for each of your different services. So that's what I would recommend on that. You know, here's a couple of the guys that we're competing with, um, Prime Pools. You know, another good looking site. They're still kind of short on content, it looks like. You know, they're, they still don't have 1,500 words on there, but they are ranking really well. And there are other ways to get keywords onto your site without doing a ton of content, but it is better to have them in there organically. You know, here's another one that showed up. You know, they're, They've got a little bit more content. They got a pretty decent section here, but a lot of that's just breaking down their services. So they're still pretty short on content too. You know, putting some effort into it. These guys really shouldn't be that hard to beat out. Um, Arifs is one of the tools that we use to kind of break down the websites and see the back end stuff. You're currently showing for eight organic keywords. And these are the keywords down here that I like. I call them your generic keywords. It says what you do and where you do it. Pool service, Austin. There's 150 people a month searching that keyword, and you're in the 68th position, which is on the seventh page of Google. The number one guy on Google gets about a third of that traffic. So if you were in the number one spot for that keyword, you'd be getting about 50 hits a month on your site just from that one keyword phrase. So if we go over here and look, you know, Prime Pools has got 270 keywords they're showing for. These guys have 197. We can go in here and look and see what some of their keywords are. Um, I don't count Prime Pool Service because that's the name of the company. If somebody's typing that in in the search, they already know who they're looking for. But right here, they've got Pool Service Austin. They're in the second position. They're getting 17 visits a month to their site out of that 150. Pool Service Austin TX, there's 100 people looking for that. These guys are in the second position there. They're getting 17 hits a month to their website for that. So, like I said, those are the type of keywords I like to look for. Um, here's Pool Maintenance Austin there in the fifth position. You know, Pool Cleaning Service Austin there in the fifth position. So, those are the type of keywords we need to get on your site and try to get you ranking for. The second thing I talk about are your citations. This right here is the Google Map Pack. You know, there's going to be some ads up here at the top. The very next thing is the map pack. A lot of people never scroll past right here. So your citations are what help you get into that map pack. We would need to get you an Austin address to really, because the map pack is also location based. But a citation is your business name, address, and phone number listed exactly the way it is on your Google My Business page in multiple directories across the internet. Um, Yellowpages.com, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. Brightspark is one of the tools we use for that to see how many citations somebody has. You currently have 11 citations. Prime has 32 and Austin Pool Service has 18. And both of these guys, well, no, this guy is showing up in the map pack. This guy's not. There's an Austin Pool Service there, but not Austin Neighborhood Pool Service. But um, one of the things that I do when I go in and start doing marketing for somebody is right off the bat we try to add about a hundred citations to your google my business page get in those directories and get up into that map pack as quickly as we can and then we start working on the organic stuff so again your citations are what help you get right here in this map pack and a lot of people never scroll past here if they see what they want right here they're going to click on it and go with it so being in this section is super important which is why we push so hard to get you up there as quickly as we can the third thing would be your backlinks. Right now you're showing up for 29 backlinks and 10 referring domains. 
the referring domains and the backlinks are really the same thing, but the referring domains actually give you a little bit more power than just the basic backlink does. But what it is, it's a popularity contest. You know, the more backlinks you have, the better. Um, there's lots of ways to get them, but the more sites that point back at your website, which is what a backlink is, you know, if I go to a different site somewhere else and there's a button I can click or something I can click on that takes me to your site, that's a backlink. Your citations are going to help you with those. There's blog commenting. Do try to keep them relevant to what you do if you're doing blog comments. Not all backlinks are the same. But, you know, if you can find blogs about pool services or pool maintenance, pool cleaning type things, read up on some of the articles, post a good comment, put a link back to your site there. Some of those will help. But you really want to get these jacked up, but try to keep the referring domains close to the backlinks. You know, most of the referring domains are the ones that are really going to pass you the power of their site and help get you going on Google. See, these guys have 109 backlinks, but they only have 38 referring domains. These guys have 102 but they only have 30 referring. So one of the things that we can do with the tools we have, we can go in here and look at where these guys are getting their, their referring domain backlinks from. And we can look at the other backlinks too. But like I said, the referring domains give you more power. So that's what I like to look at. Um, go in here and see exactly where these guys are getting their backlinks from, what type of power they're getting from it, and see if it's a backlink that we want for us and go in and try to get one on the same site. You know, I call it the copycat method. You know, find the guy that's doing the best, go in there and take the same backlinks that he has, and then just go out and find some more on our own. It's all stuff you can do. It just takes a lot of time to do it. A quick recap. We want to get about 1,500 words on your homepage and then break out your service pages for about 500 to 750 words on each one of those. Your citations, get out there, get in as many of those directories as you can get into. It's not complicated. It just takes a lot of time. You got to search, you know, find the directories, sign up for them. Most of them are going to send you an email. Click on the email to confirm that it's you and then go back into the site, sign, you know, log in, password, put in your information. So it is something you can do. It just takes a lot of time to do it. As far as your backlinks go, like I said, your citations are going to help with those, but you're, you know, there's blog commenting things you can do. Um, if there's some type of company out there that is kind of related to the pool service, but doesn't necessarily compete with you, but you guys have the same client base, you know, you can talk to those guys, maybe get a link from their site to yours and put a link from your site to theirs, kind of trade off some power that way, you know, pass a little business back and forth. I call that the joint venture method, but that's some of the options that you have. Like I said, if you need any help, you know, feel free to reach out. My name is Nathan. My number is 210-383-8401. Thanks for your time.